where to live in Edmonton. There are so many communities in Edmonton, it's hard to know which one's right for you. Of course, you can find the basic information you need on Wikipedia and Google Maps. This is my second video in the series where I provide you with the good, the bad, and the ugly for Edmonton communities. In this video, I have an extra special treat. I have a local community member talking to you about living in the community. This video features the community of Chappelle in Southwest Edmonton. Where to live in Edmonton? Chappelle might be the right community for you. It's located in Southwest Edmonton and includes Chappelle Gardens and Creekwood. The major difference between the two are the resident associations. Residents of Chappelle Gardens have access to the infamous social house, whereas the Creekwood residents have their own resident association and no social house. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons of living in Chappelle. The good, the bad, and the ugly. But before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on videos I post weekly. Getting started with the good. And I'm gonna start with my absolute favorite thing about this neighborhood. It's the people. The people in this community are amazing. It almost feels like a small town within a city. Let's take local resident Stacy Lee as an example. I met her a couple months ago. And she was kind enough to go on video about how she feels about living in Chappelle. So don't take it from me. Let's hear what she has to say. I do the cakes in the neighborhood. Two years ago, almost three years ago, I lost my job just before Christmas and it was that bad employer. And I thought, oh, I'm not gonna get paid in lieu of, like it's right before Christmas, it's the week before Christmas. And a couple of ladies had seen the cakes that I do for my kids. And uh, um, I posted in the neighborhood page, the Chappelle page, you know, um, just lost my job. I do make cakes, a couple of you have seen cakes. Um, if you need a cake, it's how I'm going to get through New Year's and make my mortgage and stuff. Every time somebody ordered a cake, they shared it in the community. So now, two and a half years, three years later, if somebody posts in the neighborhood, I'm looking for a cake maker in the neighborhood, there's like 40 comments and it's all my name. Um, every week when I carve my cakes and I cut the extra tops off or the sides off or I'm sculpting or something, then I'll put all the cake in buckets. And then I'll put all my filling on top, all the extra buttercream or raspberry or custard or whatever the filling is. I'll put it in buckets and then I'll put it on my step. And then, <laughs> and then I have a piggy bank on my step and it's donation optional and it's the pay it forward fund. So um, we took the pay it forward fund um, as well as another donation from a community member. And we went to the Tim Hortons and we bought 10 gift cards and we bought a couple oh. tanks of gas. and. We just surprised people just for fun. We sought out Chappelle. So we moved in town from Leduc. And when I was looking at houses, I thought, well, you know, back when we were kids, you go house to house when you're looking for your friends. You go house to house, you knock on their door, you know, you ask them if you can join them for dinner or play on their trampoline, that kind of thing. So we were looking for a neighborhood that wasn't so dense um, that you got overwhelmed with the amount of kids and neighbors, just that you had a nice, pleasant green area. So we picked Chappelle based on that. And within a month of living there, somebody was knocking on my front window <laughs> saying, awesome. hey, can your kids come out and play? Like, it was perfect. When they started developing the community activities, then we started seeing outdoor movies and outdoor concerts and pancake breakfasts on Canada Day and special crafts for the kids and Halloween haunted houses in the Homeowners Association. All kinds of great activities to bring people together. And then as we're growing in the community, the community is growing with us. And we can't go shopping, we can't go to a coffee shop, we can't go to the Homeowners Association without knowing somebody. And you only get that in a small town. If you're looking for a small town feel, this is it. <laughs> okay, so back to it. We are still under the good. So number two, the community spirit. It is second to none. Let's take their community Facebook page as an example. Recently, I saw a local resident post on the page needing help. She had gone away with her husband and left the dogs with somebody to care for them. The person that was caring for them didn't have the means to go run errands. While they were away, the dogs ran out of dog food. So what this resident did is she posted on the Facebook page asking if anyone is going to Costco. She showed a picture of their dog food 
and asked if they could pick up a bag for her, drop it off at our house, and she would e-transfer them. Well, people responded instantly, and they were so happy to bail to help her. Now, if that's not community spirit, I don't know what is. Number three, local businesses. There are quite a few locally owned and operated businesses within the community of Chappelle. And the support this community has for these local businesses is comparable to how fans support their favorite hockey team or football team, which makes it super easy for businesses to thrive in the area. Recently, I met up with a couple local business owners in Chappelle. I recorded separate videos with them to spotlight their business. Number four, the schools. If we're just looking at what they currently have, maybe we put schools on the bad list. Chappelle currently has one public school, K to nine. So if you have kids in high school living there, they have to travel quite far to get to high school. But this is all about to change in 2021. Chappelle and the Heritage Valley area are getting two new schools. One of them is called Garth Worthington and it's another K to nine. And the other one is called Dr. Ann Anderson and it's a high school. In fact, it's the only high school south of the Anthony Hende, giving all the homes in the Heritage Valley area an advantage. Number five, quick access to the Anthony Hende and Highway 2, also known as QE2. The Anthony Hende is Edmonton's Ring Road and QE2 is the highway you take to get to Leduc, the airport, or Calgary. And last but not least, the community amenities. This social house in Chappelle Gardens is amazing. They have so many activities for a variety of different types of people. You've got all sorts of programs for kids, adults, couples, and seniors. Plus there's a skating rink in the winter and a splash park in the summer. You'll also find community gardens, parks for kids to play at, fields, and a BMX track. Moving on to the bad. So, if I'm being honest, Chappelle is fairly remote compared to other communities in Edmonton. It's not only south of the Anthony Hende, its neighbors to the south are farmer's fields. And number two, commuting to work can be a pain, especially if you have to go downtown. Chappelle's not ideal. Right now, the only public transit is busing, though future LRTs are planned for the area. So if commuting to downtown, you're more than likely needing to drive or drive over to a park or ride and take an LRT from there. During rush hour, the commute can take 45 to 60 minutes to or from downtown. Whereas if it isn't rush hour, it'd be 30 minutes. And now for the ugly. I really only have one ugly truth for this neighborhood. The neighborhood of Chappelle has those big, huge power lines that go through it. Now these don't bother everyone, but they could have effect on your home price or resale. I've showed houses to buyers in Chappelle and when these houses were close to the power lines, they were off the list. The major concern that they have are the EMFs, electric magnetic fields. So when the good outweighs the bad, you found your Edmonton community to call home. Does Chappelle feel right to you? If so, check out the link in my description below to see what's available in Chappelle. Still exploring? Check out my other videos on Edmonton communities, the good, the bad, and the ugly. If you found this video to be interesting or helpful, please go ahead and click that like button and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.